Lamborghini sends Revuelto for the South Korean market. Since its introduction last March, the Lamborghini Revuelto has received great enthusiasm as a supercar that carries the manufacturer's first plug-in hybrid, PHEV. Automobili Lamborghini SP. A. Began to spread its wings in terms of selling Revuelto to various countries, one of which is South Korea. Reporting from Yonhap, Friday, June 23, the Italian manufacturer has started taking orders for the Revuelto and the cars that have been ordered will be delivered to customers in South Korea starting next year. For the South Korean market, Revuelto is priced at around 700 million won in the South Korean market, or around 8 billion Indonesian rupees, this figure is not an exact price. South Korea itself is not a new market for Lamborghini. Previously, the automotive brand with the Bull logo entered three models into the ginseng country market, including the Lamborghini Urus, Lamborghini Huracan and Lamborghini Aventador. The Revuelto is equipped with a naturally aspirated 6,500 cc PHEV V12 engine plus three electric motors with a 3.8 kWh battery. Revuelto can generate power up to 1,001 horsepower and 725 newton meters of torque. Thanks to the performance of the 8-speed dual-clutch transmission, the Revuelto can accelerate from 0 to 100 km per hour in 2.5 seconds. As a result, the maximum speed of 350 km per hour. Revuelto is the initial journey for Lamborghini to move into the world of electrification. Lamborghini has set its sights on making the move to EVs from the end of the decade. Following the Revuelto, Lamborghini is developing the Urus with a hybrid engine for 2024, before the SUV will be fully electric in 2029. However, the Urus EV is not the first EV vehicle from Lamborghini. They say that the first EV model is an all-new car. That is, this car does not continue the previous model. This latest EV model will be a 2 plus 2 GT type with high performance with several innovative improvements like the Grand Tourer, GT, car. This is the fourth model to help the company's goal of reducing carbon emissions by up to 80%.